Pizza Flix presents Classic Movie Monday. The Cisco Kid is a fictional character created by O. Henry for his short story, The Caballero's Way, first published in 1907. Four actors portrayed this Western hero in 25 films during the sound era. In 1928, the first all-talking Western starred Warner Baxter as the Cisco Kid, followed by Cesar Romero, Duncan Ronaldo, and Gilbert Rowland. Oh, no, he ain't that kind of a lady. He's my grandmother. 
Uh, and he is very sick in the cactus wells. But I thought your grandmother lived in Chihuahua. <laughs> Me too, but he can be just as sick in the cactus wells. No Mexican ever wrote this, Pancho. He would. My grandmother here in the Eskimo. Look. In Spanish, we always cross the seven, like this. Always, you know that. <laughs> you, you got a pretty good proof, but I got a better one. My grandmother, he died six years ago in Juarez. Pancho, someone wants us in Cactus Wells. Get the horses ready and meet me in front of the store. Bueno. And Cisco, get me six or a half a dozen tortillas and some chilies. See, and a couple of cows, a sack of frijoles, and the stuff big, eh? Pardon me. Did I hear you call that man Cisco? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know if you hear me or not, but I did. He wouldn't happen to be the Cisco kid, would he? He would, of course. But it just didn't happen. He'd do it on purpose. Thanks. What is all this about? I'll get you for what you did to my brother. Who is this man? Do you know him, senorita? His name is Tom McCogger, and he's a rancher up in the hills. Get your hands in here, mister. We don't like shooting in San Lorenzo. I reserve the right to shoot in self-defense, my friend, against one man or a dozen. The marshal's out of town for a day or so. We aim to hold you till he gets back. Wait a minute, Bill. I saw the whole thing. Maybe so, Nora, but a shooting's a shooting. We aim to hold him for the marshal. Better step aside, senorita. I'm not going to jail for shooting in self-defense. And it was self-defense. Well, he, if I hadn't grabbed McCarga's arm, he would have murdered this man. Who do you want to believe? The senorita or my pistolas? <laughs> Young lady says it was self-defense. So I reckon her word's good enough for us. Better get this man to a doctor. Come on, boys. Please, senorita. May I know to whom I'm indebted for saving my life? Well, I don't see that it matters. But my name is Nora Malloy. Nora Malloy. Oh, what a pretty name. And it fits you so perfectly. My own name means nothing, but I am known as the Cisco Kid. The Cisco Kid? At your service, senorita. If there is some way I can repay you, some little thing you'd like done. Oh, no, really, I, I must be going along, and I... Oh, but there must be something. Perhaps there is a place a little less public where we can go and talk it over, huh? Well, that's very nice of you. But you see, I'm on my way to Cactus Wells to be married. Oh, well, that's different. Then I'll have to thank you right here. All aboard! Stage leaving for Cactus Wells, boys. That's my stage. Well, goodbye. Adios, senorita. Well, Cisco, here are the horses. Let's win. Not for a couple days, Pancho. Not until McCarger is well enough to talk. <laughs> these days I'll
I'll be on my feet again. And when I am, I'll kill you. What you did to my brother, Steve. You are very positive it was I who shot your brother in Cactus Wells, eh? Of course I'm positive. You must have very good reasons for your belief. Reasons? I've got proof. There's a letter in my coat pocket. Read it. Dear Tom, get set for a shock. Your brother was killed here last night by the Cisco kid in a stage holdup. I figured you'd want to know. Ed Marlowe. Who is this Ed Marlowe, sir? He's the sheriff at Cactus Wells. And when did you receive this? Two days ago. <laughs> I think you ought to know, my friend. I have never been in Cactus Wells in my life. Adios. But you may rest assured. We'll find out who did it and why. because I got saddle sores all over my horse. Now stop complaining, Pancho. We still don't know what we're looking for. What do we do, ride into town and let nature take its corsets? Maybe, but from now on, I think we better ride a little off the road. Let's take a look.
Look at us down there holding up the stagecoach. That explains everything. Fast, Pancho. is dead. The driver is only wounded. How bad it is, senor? I don't know. It's my back. Never mind me. Get word to Nora. Nora is your wife? Not yet. She's waiting at the ranch. Rimrock. This is the side of town. Uh, this Nora, could it be uh, that her last name is Malloy, senor? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nora Malloy. How'd you know? You're the... You're the hombre that shot me. You... Pancho, we must get this man to a doctor, quick. But there's a long rope in town waiting for us, Cisco. We have been through ropes before, amigo. Fast, Pancho! Yeah! Yeah! Doc stayed sort of late, ain't she, Ross? Hmm? Oh, not very. Why, Sheriff? Expecting somebody? No, I was wondering if she'd met up with them road agents again. Don't talk like that. She's bringing in the biggest cash shipment she's ever carried. Oh. Reckon I better ride out and have a look. Kid. Well, I'll be. Come on, get up. Come on. This man is wounded. Get him to a doctor. Not so fast. Get down.
There is no cause for alarm, Miss Malloy. Pancho, pull the shades down and keep watch. What is this? I don't like it. Please, senorita. I'm sorry to say I have bad news for you. And only a few moments to explain. Bad news? About what? About your fiancé. The stage was driving was held up. Held up? And Jerry's been killed? No, he has been wounded. But how seriously, I do not know. Oh, but I must go to him. Where is he? Not yet. There is something else. They will tell you it was I who shot him. But that is not true. That is why I came here. I could not let you think I would repay your kindness in such a way. You'll try to believe me until I can prove it. Oh, I don't know what to believe. I'd like to, but I don't... Cisco! Cisco! The sheriff, she is coming with his men. Oh, what shall I do? That depends on whether you believe me or not. Coming! Take care of him, Miss. Oh, darling. Come on, Miss, please. The doc said to tell you he'd drop in a little later. Did he say how serious the wound is? Oh, he's in no danger. But he'd be laid up for quite a spell. <laughs> now, don't take it so hard, ma'am. We'll have the men have done it before long, if that's any consolation. You know who did it? Sure we know, the Cisco Kid. Twenty men have identified him and his partners holding up stages around here. There's a big reward out for him. Well, I better be on my way. I can find my way out. Now, your place is back there with him. So long. That way, Sheriff. <laughs> oh, yes. for long. The doctor said that... I know, I heard him. I'll never walk again. Without an operation. The specialist put me out tonight. Then we'll have one just as soon as we're married. I'm gonna be married, Nora. Oh, Jerry, what are you saying? I'm saying that I won't see you married to half a man. I won't stand for it. But the doctor said that an operation would cure Operations you. Operations cost money. I have some money, more than enough. That's yours. I wouldn't touch it. She's good. She has broken my heart. Let's win. You go ahead. Dropping on you, senorita. He's so stubborn, Cisco. What can I do? Just dry your eyes and stop worrying. We are going to arrange everything for you, eh, Pancho? So it will be easy. Already I can feel the rope around my neck. There is a reward on our heads. We are going to fix it so you can collect it. You want me to turn you over to the law? Oh, no, senorita. What we want is for the young man to think so.
what you ought to do? I think so. And you do, Panchito? Yeah, I know what I'd like to do. Get on top of my horse and go home. Good. Then we are ready. Good luck. Everything's going to be all right, Jerry. I know it will. I'm sorry to interrupt so touching a scene, but I'm afraid we must impose on your hospitality for a while. What is all this? Please, Jerry. My horse went lame. The sheriff is not far behind us. If you should come here, you will tell him you have not seen us. If anything happens to her, I'll... Nothing will happen to the young lady, senor, if you do what you are told. Move either of you. Drop your guns. I never thought anyone so charged. I said drop your guns. I'll kick them over here. Turn your backs. All right, you can't get away with this. There's a reward for these men, and we need it. But after all, they, they risked their necks to get me to a doctor. After they shot you and killed the guard? All right, now get through the door. And no tricks. Wonderful. Now, if you'll give us back our pistol as we... We'll take those pistols, Cisco. I thought you'd gone. We found their horses out in the brush and come on back. Now, march. But, Sheriff, I was just about to get... I couldn't have done a better job myself, miss. We watched it all through the side window. The senorita has done a very good job for you, Sheriff. But the jail was never built. That could hold the Cisco kid very long. You hope. Get going. Hey, Pancho. If you must walk up and down, take off your spurs and keep me awake. Well, amor de Dios, how you can sleep when they're going to hang us? Any minute might be our next. Hey, why don't we broke out of this jail like you say it couldn't hold us? Ah, there is plenty of time, amigo. First, we must make sure that the sheriff has delivered the reward money to our friends. Do I care who gets the reward? But of course, amigo. They are in love. And love is the most wonderful thing in the world. Good love, love, love. For me, love is on top of a good horse and four miles ahead of the sheriff. Buenas noches, senor sheriff. Did you deliver the reward money? Yep. And got a receipt for it. They wouldn't take it till I told them you aimed to be out of jail before morning. <laughs> Pancho, we must stop by and thank her on our way out of town. Say, you don't figure you can get out of this who's gal, do you? Oh, but of course, amigo. Yeah? How are you gonna do it? Don't tell him, Cisco. Why not, Panchito? There are a lot of ways. Yeah? Just tell me one. Yeah, tell me one, too. Well, uh, for instance, you see this hat? Yeah. You didn't think to look inside of it when you put us in jail, did you? Well, no, but... Uh, There's nothing in there, not even your head. No, but if I hold the hat so, the sheriff can look in here very carefully, and while he's looking, some of our friends are going to sneak behind it. You know, Cisco, I didn't know we got such good friends here, didn't you? We haven't. Shut up, you two. Get going. Nice little place you have here. Yeah, we like it. 
Let's look inside. Once they used to look inside, we ain't going to buy it. Don't be so hasty, friend. We can make you terms you can't refuse. Vamos. That is very bad Spanish, senor. It might be bad Spanish, but it makes mighty good sense. Move. Come on, you too. We change clothes. Give him a hand, Rusty. Get over here. You don't have to put no ropes on me, mister. I ain't going no place. You know, Cisco, I think maybe we are still prisoners. No. What makes you think so? They don't like us. But then why did they broke us out of jail? I think they have another stage hold up tonight. You think right, friend. The biggest haul we've ever made, and the last one. Before morning, we'll split everything. By tomorrow, we'll be respectful citizens again, while you two dangle at the end of a rope. Now I am positively they don't like us. You might as well sit down. You're not going anywhere for a spell. You are too kind, senor. I will not forget this. It's fine with me. Oh. You are going to become a respectable citizen again, eh, senor? Well, let me tell you something. Fine clothes and stolen money do not make a man out of a coyote. Another crack like that and I'll kill you. I don't think so. You need me. Keep an eye on him, Kansas. Come on! If my hand wasn't tied... Caete, Pancho. going to be blamed for this stage robbery. Do you mind telling us what we are stealing? What's the difference? You ain't going to be spending any of it. Oh, purely professional interest, as one robber to another. Bullion, my friend. Bullion. Nobody else knows the stage is going to carry it. We got ways of keeping tab. A bullion? You're going to rob a stage to get some soup? <laughs> yeah. I bet you weren't afraid to come close to me, no? That's a good bet. I ain't. Hey, well, come over here and give me a cigarito, huh? What for? You couldn't roll one with your hands tied. I don't gotta roll them. I got them in my pocket all twisted. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Got you. With the matches in the same pockets. Want me to inhale for you, too? Hey, these ropes any good? The very best money can buy. Three packages for Nickley. Mm. Hey, huh? you don't have to be a thief because you're a robber. I ain't gonna steal them. Just borrowing them for a while. Well, that's different. <laughs> I thought you were gonna keep them. Drop my cigarito. What do you want me to do? Bust into tears? No, but I'm afraid maybe I'm gonna sit on it. Hey, Cisco, can you see where is it? No, but I can smell it. Me too, it smells like rags burning. Ay, carana, voy a quemar con toda esta cosa que yo hombre no sé que voy a hacer. You don't say. Yeah, but I do say. Just leave it where it is, Pancho. No, but Cisco, the, the, the matches in the same pocket. Ay, hombre, ay, por la moda de tu madre me, me, me estoy quemando. 
ande. Me estoy llamando. Apaga el fuego. Apaga el fuego, hombre. Why don't you talk so somebody can understand you? Great man, he's on fire. Ande. The cigarette fell in his pocket with the matches. <laughs> around and untie him. Oh, <laughs> now untie the rope. Mm. Oh, and untie the rope. <laughs> that was a pretty smart trick. I dropped the cigarette in my pocket. <laughs> See, Panchito, you are very smart. But hold on to his head. No, don't no worry. I got him like a crack nutter. Oh, 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 oh. I'll take his pistola. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Now. Uh. now, get up there. Get up, untie. Uh. Uh, untie my friend. Get on the floor, face down. Yeah. Put your face on the floor and lay on it. Oh. Get the pistol. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Where are we going now, San Lorenzo? Stop asking questions, hurry up. horses, Pancho. Throw off your guns. Throw them off, I said. Throw off the express box. Don't waste my time. Might as well, Mark. Throw off the express box. Throw it off. the box, but it's empty. The bullion is gone. 
You mean we do all this and we didn't get no soup after all? No, Pancho. No soup. Chisco, what do you say we follow the stagecoach and we give those bandidos a big surprise, eh? Good idea, Pancho. Move your horse. Francisco! The stain went this way! Yes, but the surprise is this way! Now throw down the express box. What is this? We just gave it to you a mile up the road. We ain't here to play games, seniors. Now throw it down. But we did throw it down. You know it as well as we do. Turn your backs. Keep me covered. Start out with an express box. Who are you kidding? It wasn't you that took it from us. It must have been your twin brother. Cisco must have got loose. Let's get out of these clothes and get word to the boss. stuff off the road. Well, if this don't beat the pups in a fight, you're under arrest, both of you. You want to bet, senor? Hey, why don't you relapse and be comfort? If you're not here to give yourselves up, what are you here for? To tell you who has been robbing the stages. I know that already. Too many people have seen you doing it. Not us. Men dressed like us. Oh, now, do you expect me to believe that after the way your friends treated me tonight? They were not our friends. They took us away as prisoners. No horseradish on that. And chili peppers to you. Are they going to blame us for robbing the stagecoach when we've been in here safe in your jailhouse, don't you? Well, now that does make sense, even if it ain't so. Did you know a bullion shipment was going out on tonight's stage? Heck yes. What's that got to do with this? That bullion never left town. How do you know? I robbed the stagecoach. Guy de Pancho. Oh, so you're not robbers, but you go around robbing stagecoaches. Well, maybe I'm touched. No, we only want to get it before the other fellas did. I know where the bullion is, and I'm going to get it. And you are going to help me. I'm going to help you? See. Si. Well, I'm not in very good shape to refuse, am I? Pancho. You are now, Sheriff. Say, you two fellas are just about crazy enough to be honest. 
What do you want me to do? I'll just relapse. Come with me, and I'll tell you on the way there. Huh? Cisco and Poncho at the hideout, boss, but they got away from us. Why, Kansas, I'm disappointed in you. Can't I trust you with the simplest chores anymore? Oh, cut out the lecture. What are we going to do now? Why do anything? There's no cause for alarm. <laughs> They're probably halfway to the border right now. Yeah, and they may be up to something. They're tricky. Why don't we split what's in the safe and scatter? Why, Kansas, that wouldn't be honest. Sit down. This is a fair warning. I will come for the loot in your office safe before daylight. San Cisco Kid. I told you it was tricky. Oh, I even wrote it on the back of that letter you sent to his partner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't just stand there. Let's grab the stuff and hightail it. Oh, that's just what they expect us to do. We'd walk right into a trap. Oh, we can't just sit here. Oh, why can't we? He can't get into the safe, not with us guarding it. Now go on in there and pull down the blinds. Not, senores, you are a better target than I am. Come out of there or we'll start squinting lead all over the room. <laughs> no, no, senores. If you don't pistol me, I'm going to tell you something about Cisco. Maybe you'd like to know. All right, let's have it. Well, you don't tell him that I told you, but he's coming here tonight to rob you safe. He's already told us that himself. Yeah, but he didn't tell you how he was going to do it, did he? Cut out the palaver and come out of there. I can't. I'm, I'm stick under the bed. Well, then throw out your gun. this all about? Oh, <laughs> Cisco is a smart fellow, you know. He's got an idea. I think maybe it will work. What do you think? What are you driving at? Oh, didn't I tell you yet? You know, this Cisco is it. <laughs> I talk better when I smoke. These are my favorites. Maybe you got a phosphoro in the pocket? Light it at the lamp. The lamp? <laughs> You're gringo, the smart fellow. How do you think of that? No, where I was. You hadn't started yet. Oh, oh yeah. The, the first thing he was going to do was to throw the note through the window, but he didn't do it. I do it. See? <laughs> Did you read it? Of course we read it. <laughs> he figured you would. You know, he's a smart fellow. You're not, not so smart. 
You think you can keep on stalling us all night? Now talk. Pero no me agarras la garganta, no puedo hablar. Talk English. How I can talk English when you choke it out of me? Let him go, Kansas. Now get on with it and fast. Well, it's Cisco figured that when you hear my noise, you would come running in just like you did. And while you were listening to my fairy tales, he would go in there and open the safe. <laughs> get in there, you. If you think the money's in there, I still got you fooled. Good work, Pancho. Thank you, Senor Ross, for opening the safe. Pancho, take their guns and keep them covered. All right, move over, you. Get over there. There you are, Sheriff. Look. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it myself. Ah, these hombres are very clever. In sending out the express boxes empty, they took no chances and had a perfect alibi. And the blame fell on Pancho and myself. You're both under arrest. Put out your arms. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Turn the palms of your hands up. Turn them up. Now pull the elbows in. Pancho, load them up. <laughs> With pleasure, Cisco. For you, ten thousand for you, ten thousand for for you. All right, March, come on. Not so fast. Get back. Get your gun. Get over there at them. Keep your hands up, hombre. for delivery. They've got 12 other charges against them. Including the murder of Tom McCarger's brother. Sheriff, will you do something for me? You name it. Will you please write Mr. McCarger and tell him that the murders of his brother are behind bars and it wasn't the Cisco kid or Pancho that did it? Sure I will. Gracias. I don't know what I'm going to do about this reward money. It belongs to you, but I already gave it to that Malloy girl. Well, Sheriff, that was the idea. I don't get it. You don't, senor. Then I'm gonna tell you, this compañero of mine here is always sticking my neck out to help some pretty girl. Speaking of that, take a look. Hey, Sheriff, we 
are supposed to be under arrest. Keep her out there and don't let her suspect anything. Yeah? Right. Good morning. Morning. Oh, just a minute, Sheriff. May I see you? What about Miss Malloy? And it isn't Miss Malloy any longer. The name is now Mrs. Todd, if you don't mind. Oh, so you've already got him roped and tied, huh? I hadn't heard. That's what I came to see you about. I want to return the reward money. Return it? I don't seem to get the connection. Jerry and I can't start life with this kind of money. I still don't seem to savvy, man. Well, can't you see? We couldn't do the knowing Cisco's in jail. Well, he brought Jerry out here to a doctor and probably saved his life. Don't move, Sheriff. Get his gun, Pancho. Keep the money, Miss Malloy. But you don't have to worry about our being out of jail. I can't keep it. If you're not in jail, how can I accept the reward? The reward was for arresting us, and you did that. If the sheriff couldn't hold us, that is his bad luck. But the reward stands. Right, Sheriff? Yeah, but you can't get away with this. That's what you think. Vamanos, Pancho. Adios, and good luck. I missed him completely, Dad. Blame it. 